Hey everyone, just wanted to give a brief little overview of the newest truck I got done here. This is a 2002 Tacoma, first gen, uh, single cab short bed, two wheel drive, that I have converted to electric. This is a uh, pretty much Tesla Model 3 performance model, pretty much as a pickup truck. Uh, just give a brief little overview of it here. Basically, this is a full Tesla Model 3 performance rear drive unit here. The whole subframe has been welded back on brackets and stuff on the frame. Uh, it's got full Ritec coilovers. Let's see, uh, ZZP rear sway bar. Uh, back here in the bed, this is um, two of the four Tesla Model 3 battery modules. There's four inside of a big battery pack. Uh, two is in the bed. The other two are in between the frame rails. It's hard to see down here. Uh, it's all obviously Tesla Model 3 rear brakes with uh, electric parking brake um, calipers. In the front here, these are raised Graham lights, 57s. Uh, it's got the Cadillac ATS brake calipers and the Evo, I want to say eight or nine brake rotors in the front. Press the truck, I mean, it's pretty much stock. I mean, it's got right tech coolers all around, like I said, uh, big brakes. Under the hood. So under the hood now is pretty much what I would call the high voltage. The high voltage side of things. So this is the top of the old, basically the Model 3 battery pack. Inside of here, I have the contactors for the high voltage. I have the contactor for the heater, which is back here. This is a 400 volt, pretty much coolant heater that I just have a loop going through my heater core. It's going through a reservoir and then back through, basically just a big loop for the heater. Uh, up here is just a heat exchanger for the batteries. There are two water pumps, one's feeding the drive unit, one's feeding the batteries just to run through the front heat exchanger. Uh, I can't really see much, but the I'm running the Volvo electric power steering like I normally do in all my stuff. Up there is a Model S AC compressor. I haven't completed it yet. It just needs to finish the line off of there up to the front factory condenser. That's pretty much right under the hood. I mean, it's a cool looking little truck. We go for a little ride here. I don't have a gauge cluster in here quite yet. I currently don't have a gauge cluster. I was going to do some um, speed hut gauges. So currently I'm just using the um, app for the um, basically the EV controls TC2 controller. It comes with like a Bluetooth app that has all your controls. Um, I do have like a little switch panel here for drive, neutral, and reverse. But I mean. can't really do like a big rev up or anything to show you what it sounds like. Basically, I can just give you a little acceleration, a little test here. Let's park on. Just 
just do a quick little zero to 60 here for you. It works. I mean, my headlights, my turn signals. That's what's so good about this first-gen Tacoma stuff. Is everything still simple, yet still kind of modern with you know power steering and brakes and all that stuff. The nice thing about this display here, it's got my pretty much my voltage. It's in my battery pack. Uh, it's got you know the current and stuff going through in and out of the batteries. It's got my drive unit temp. Pretty much all the things can like tied to the drive unit that's needed. Quick little turn around here. I'm also for the batteries. I'm using um, Orion BMS um, two the Model Three battery pack. Um, there's not a lot of aftermarket stuff that supports the Model 3 batteries, but they're kind of hard to beat being the, probably the most dense lithium battery out right now. Do a little one more, 0 60 here. little sound too when it takes off kind of like a spaceship you could say but yeah that's about it uh, any comments questions just just let me know in the comment box thanks